pretty good, pretty level. Well, I know one thing, it's way too hot for the shirt out here. Well, we're gonna build our fire and get to cooking. This is a good one, thank you, Jesus. Hey everybody, Shirtless Jake here. Today, we're gonna do something awesome. Something really, really, really cool I think you guys will enjoy. I'm gonna show y'all how to live off the land a little bit and we're gonna go do a catfish catch, clean, and cook. So the reason I got this idea, um, well we got the minnow trap a while back and it is doing awesome. We have put tons and tons of perch, minnows, tadpoles, all kind of things unless there's pond down there. Um, another good thing is it helps provide a lot of bait fish and bait fish catch big fish. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down, check the minnow trap, uh, grab us a perch out of there to use for bait, head down to the river, try to snag us an edible catfish. By edible, I mean one that's over 14 inches. Um, that's the size here where I'm at. That means they're legal to eat. So without further ado, let's go check it out and let's go, let's go get a meal. You know, we had sandwiches for lunch today. Wasn't really feeling it. So I figured, well, let's get something good in our belly. All right, we're here at the minnow trap. I'm gonna follow my string down to it here. All right, there she is. Let's pull her on up. Oh my gosh, my string come off. Why does something always happen to me? Good thing it's on the edge. Good thing it's on the edge. Ah. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, there's a lot of stuff flopping around in here a whole lot of stuff let's get this little clip off if I can do it one hand there we go okay so check out the amount of tadpoles in this thing golly there's so many but look so we got a perch here I'm gonna keep him and well I think that one's a baby bass so we're gonna take him to the pond um, alright, so I guess we're stuck with one perch. I don't know. Seems, seems kind of tough. I gotta literally be perfect. One for one. One perch, one fish. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. We got our rod. What we're gonna do is take this perch. We're gonna hook them right behind the fin. Okay. Pretty simple. Come down. Now, we just wait. Alright, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh gosh, it's a good one, it's a good one. It's a good one. Woo wee! He's definitely, he's definitely a good, like, eating size. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Alright, hold on. Oh no, this is going to be a mess. Oh. Alright. Alright. So here's our fish. Oh, easy guy, easy guy, easy guy. That's a good one right here. We are going to get him cleaned up. I'm going to show you all how to do that. And then, well, we're going to build our fire and get to cooking. This is a good one. Thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. He got me too. He got me too. That's okay. Golly. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 dude. Why did you do that? So the very first thing we got to do is get this fish all cleaned up uh, before we even think about making a fire. We got to get the fillets going in our uh, foil. I put some butter in there, season all, pepper, salt. Um, so the fish is just going to soak up in there and it's going to really take up the flavor. It's going to be delicious. 
first I need something to clean the fish on so I'm gonna run over there grab a couple of blocks so we can put them on not get them all sandy like it is here we'll level out a, a spot make us a little concrete table and get to work this spot right here is pretty flat already so let's just see how the blocks do All right. All right. Pretty good. Pretty level. Well, I know one thing. It's way too hot for this shirt out here. All right. Let's get the fish. Let's get the cleaning. All right. So what you want to do is start your cut right around here. Go down to the ribs, come all the way down his tail. Um, should get you a pretty nice fillet. Let's find the spot. There we go. Right down the ribs there. Flip it over, now we're just gonna try to get that fillet straight off the skin as good as we can. All right, first fillet. Now we're just gonna flip them over, do the same thing here. A little bit of skin on this one will peel off there perfect okay so <clears throat> what we're actually gonna do with this we're gonna take it down put it out in the woods and we're gonna put the game camera in front of it but here we go we're gonna get our two fillets getting all seasoned up um, should probably wash these off with some water first they're kind of sandy just a little bit I'm sure it won't hurt anything but yeah, we'll get these seasoned up in the foil and we'll come back right here. We'll start building our fire. The reason I came down here to this little spot, we got some good uh, tree coverage. And there's a lot of rain clouds back over there and up over there too. And the last thing I want is to be in the middle of cooking this fish and it starts raining and the fire goes out. So I um, figured this would be a good spot. For those of you that have seen the how to build a fire video everyone was telling me oh it's easy with lighter fluid well here we are no lighter fluid just now gathered up our sticks from the woods no excuses this time see if we can really do it start off with some pine straw and some little sticks and we shouldn't have any any trouble getting this thing going but i'll tell you what it's like a billion degrees out here and I'm building a fire. Probably not the best thing I've ever done. But, gotta show you guys how to live off the land. For this fish, you don't need the fire too big, you just need it hot. And pine burns pretty good, it gets hot. That's why a lot of people put pine cones and fires that makes it super hot there we go we'll add some flame to shoot up through here get it going a little bit put these around here like a base probably put our fish right in here right in there go we'll let this get going for a bit I'll get back with you when we're putting the fish in okay so we got our fillets all cleaned up here so this is the foil and seasoning I was talking about so you just got a ton of butter seasonal uh, pepper salt so all we're gonna do is lay these fillets in here right on top of this butter and that butter is gonna melt onto everything Okay, check it out. We're gonna just fold it up, 
Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. And hold it up. Now all of that heat is going to get stuck in here. Um, it's going to cook this fish really evenly throughout both sides and check it out. Our fire. Fire's down there. Let me get my shadow out of here. So the fire's down now a good bit. Um, just cooking in the hot coals. That's all you got to do. And we'll check back throughout. Check on its progress. See how good it's getting cooked. And make sure something hadn't gone horribly wrong. So I've done this, you know, a handful of times throughout my life. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of progress check. Ay, 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 that's hot. All right, so let's do... Try not to burn ourselves. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It smells delicious, I'll tell you that. I know that much for sure. Come on. Oh, look at all the melted butter. Mmm. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. We're almost done. We got a little bit charred. A little bit charred back there. But that's all right. We're going to flip it over about another five minutes or so, and then we'll be ready to eat. I wish YouTube had smell-o-vision because this stuff smells delicious. So it smells good. It looks like it might be done. I don't know, from the outside. But let's get it over to our little table and start eating. I mean, it can't be bad, right? I mean, ay ay ay. Lee, that's hot. How am I going to get this over there? Ow! Hmm. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab the stick. I'm going to scoop her. Scoop her up like that. Easy. Easy, 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 easy. Easy. Perfect. Okay, now if we can get this bad boy open. Ow, gosh, why is it so hot? Well, I say that, but it's been in a fire. I should know that, but... Jeez, I'm hungry. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, look at it steaming. That's going to be so good. Oh, yeah. We're almost there. I can see the meat. I can see the meat. Oh, yes. All right. Whew. All right, we gotta let this. I want to let it cool, but also just want to. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna let it cool for a moment. All right, the finished product. It looks good. It smells good. It must be good. It's still really hot. Really, really, really hot. Let's see. Yep. It's kind of salty. It's kind of like the send us in a river. Yeah, not bad. All right, it's starting to rain pretty good out here. We're gonna get this camera set up real quick. Try to get some more dry. What we gotta do? I made this little loop back here so we just can loop it through and tighten it up pretty easily. Right up around here. We're going to turn this on. And it's ready to go. Ready to get the fish. Put it right here so we get a good clear shot of whatever it is. You know, I'm actually going to move it back. Just a little. Okay, perfect. Alright, and now I'll get back to y'all with that game cam footage. But, here I'll show you. I'm underneath the trees, but out there, I don't know, it's kind of hard for y'all to see, but it's raining. It's raining pretty hard. So we're going to haul butt home. Brindley, get us out of here. Like and subscribe. Bye, guys. Have a great day.